God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is The Fruitful Farmer. I will be reading from Luke chapter 8 and verse 14. The seed that fell among thorns stands for those who hear, but as I go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches, and pleasures, and they do not mature. My beloved, in order to be fruitful for the kingdom of God, you must eliminate weeds. And Jesus talks about this in our scripture today, Luke chapter 8, and verse 14. So we're going to look at three varieties of weeds that can keep you from growing into spiritual maturity and being fruitful for the kingdom of God. One, worry. You become too preoccupied with everyday cares that you take your eyes off of Jesus Christ. Two, making money and buying things dominates your life so much that you don't have time for the Lord Jesus Christ. Three, pleasure. Pursuing the good life. This can choke out your spiritual growth. It's okay to have a good time, my beloved, but you need to protect your priorities. When you have time to shop, to go to the beach, play golf, go to sports games, spend hours watching TV, yet you don't have time to read your Bible and pray, your priorities are out of balance. In other words, they're out of kilter. So you say, I just don't have time to serve the Lord. I'm too busy. I don't have time to commit. Then you are too busy. You better do some weeding out and getting rid of a lot of things in your life that are not necessary. It doesn't mean that they're wrong, but they're overgrown or it's overgrowth in your life. In other words, they're just not necessary. Maybe you need to cut back on your schedule a little just to remove some of these weeds or overgrowth or things that aren't plentiful or advantageous to the work of the kingdom. My beloved, you have to tend to your plants, but you don't have to do anything to produce weeds. They grow by themselves when you neglect your garden. Getting the idea, are you? I hope you are. If the weeds in your life are keeping you from bearing fruit for the kingdom of God, it's time to stop talking about it and take action and do something. My beloved, this week, even starting today, itemize your life. See if there's something that you can let go as to where you can spend more time with God and produce fruit for the kingdom of God. Where does it stand right at this present time? And do what needs to be done to clear out these unnecessary things, which we call weeds or overgrowth. My beloved, God has a plan and a purpose for you, and he wants you to be blessed and to achieve a certain goal that only you can achieve. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we desire to be faithful and fruitful farmers. But there are many things that are in our way. Teach us to get rid of these things that are not essential in our life. Teach us what to get rid of and what to keep. Lord, give us the wisdom we need to separate ourselves that we may serve you in a greater way and become that fruitful farmer that you have called us to be. We pray that in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. So my beloved, I pray that you have a desire, a great desire, to be a fruitful farmer for the kingdom of God. God bless you, my beloved, and walk with God.